Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I make videos about whatever I feel like making videos about that day. And today's video is a big one. It's the start to a major project. I'll say that. We are gonna go through my shoes today. I have a lot of shoes. I also have a lot of clothes and this isn't even all of them. I'm sitting in my closet, get ready, craft, catch all room. And the goal is to have a treadmill in here at some point. My goal is to eventually have this room cleaned out to only things that I actually use and make me happy. Um, so we can have a treadmill in here. But I'll give you a little walk around of this space really quick. So as I said, this is my closet area right here. And then we move over here and that's all my purses and random crap thrown there. And then my vanity with all of my makeup and extra makeup and random probably expired makeup that we're gonna have to get rid of makeup. And my craft hutch with my Cricut and all of that stuff on the floor and shoes and random things all over everywhere that just need to be gone through and cleared out to open doors for new and exciting life stuff. So yeah, today we're gonna go through my shoes, organize, 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 and hopefully at some point this room feels refreshed and like I can breathe again because I'm not, you know, suffocated by all of these things that I don't use. Stay tuned and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Um, and that's about it, so let's get into it. Okay, so I have all of my tennis shoes laid out in front of me and we're gonna go through them. First, Converse. I have a black and a white pair of high tops. These are staying. I wear them a lot. These shiny tennis shoes, which I'm going to keep because I'm in a Mardi Gras association and occasionally we have to have gold sneakers. These are silver. Silver sneakers. Uh, so I'm going to keep these because I might only wear them once a year, but once a year is enough to make me not buy a new pair every year. Next. We have these Nike tennis shoes, which I actually wear to work a lot. So I'm going to keep those. Same with these Skechers. They're just black. They don't smell. They're still in good condition. So these are staying. Next, we have these, which are my workout tennis shoes. So I'm going to keep these. And another pair that are random, but these are my work tennis shoes, like work outside tennis shoes, you know. These white Nikes, which I'm going to get rid of. I've worn them like once ever. Along with these Jordans. Where's the other one? I don't know where the other one is, but these are a kid seven. So they do fit me, but they're a little tight and I've worn them like once ever. Uh, so those can go. Same with these Nikes. They're not a go-to for me, so they can go. These are just kind of gross and I don't even like them. I mean, they're kind of cute, I guess. Are they cute? I don't even know. Those can go. These I wear to work a lot as well. Just another pair of Nikes, more of a chunky style, so I like those. These I have had since I was 18 when I worked at Ruby Tuesday because they're non-slip, so I haven't worn them since then, but I kept them around because I was like, but what if I need non-slip shoes again? But will I? I don't know. So those can go. These I just recently got off of Shoe Dazzle and I think they're so cute. They're super chunky, snake skin, tan and white kind of shoes. So I'm gonna keep those because I haven't had them very long. And then these I just got for my trip to Paris and London. They're kind of chunky too, but they're super comfortable. So good for touristing activities. These I got for a trip to Costa Rica in high school. I just don't know. Now we will move on to sandals. So sandals, Chacos. Now, I was told when I bought Chacos that I would love Chacos. Now, I hate Chacos. I've worn these a few times and they rub my feet so bad. So those are gonna go. These guys, just little rubber sandals. I got these at a spa actually and they're kind of hard to walk in. So those can go. These sandals are Steve Madden sandals. 
but I haven't worn them in about two years. This piece right here is starting to kind of break down. It's like separating. So those are probably trash. And the heels are really scuffed up. So we'll get rid of those. Now these look similar to my Chacos, but these are from Walmart for like six bucks. And these are great uh, fish camp shoes. They're good to get dirty because they are inexpensive and they're pretty comfortable. So I'm gonna keep those. These are my Sperry flip-flops, which Bubba got me. I'm gonna keep them because I think they're pretty cute. These black sandals that have this snake detail on them. Um, and this part like slips off my foot so bad. So I'm gonna get rid of those. I just got these from Shoe Dazzle as well. So I think these are really cute and I will wear those the next time I you know, wanna look kinda cute, but cash at the same time. So we're gonna keep those. I really like these. I also really like these. They wrap and tie at the ankle. I'm definitely keeping my Birkenstocks because I wear them all the time. I freaking love these sandals. I think these are so cute. Leopard little platform style. These are knockoff Birkenstocks and they kinda make my feet yellow. So those are trash. I have these, which I'm gonna keep because they're super just simple brown sandals. These guys are actually really comfortable, but they're Merrill, so they're really comfortable. So these are good for like Disney World when you have to walk around a lot. And they're great quality, so we're gonna keep those too. Let's move on to heels. Y'all, I have way more heels than any other type of shoe, and it's the shoe that I wear the least. Moving on to the other random kinds of shoes, boots, uh, flats that I have. My cowboy boots. These guys I'm keeping. And then I have my fancy cowboy boots. They're black leather. Also keeping these. These are very nice. You know, country concerts and whatnot. Not that country, but they work well. We've got some Uggs that I've had since I'm pretty sure 11th grade. So 2011. These are going to be trash. They kind of smell, so we're going to let those go. I have these flats that really rub the backs of my heels, but I've kept them because occasionally I want to wear flats, but it's really not worth it, is it? So these are going to go. I have two pairs. Hold on. Two pairs of duck boots. These are fairly new, and I love them, so these are staying. These are kind of old, but I also love them, so they're staying. I have hiking boots, so we're gonna keep the hiking boots just in case. I have these little slide-on tennis shoes that my mom got, but she doesn't like them, so she gave them to me, but they actually don't fit me very well. My heel like pretty much touches the backs of them and they're not very comfortable, so we're gonna let those go. I have two pairs of rain boots, so we're gonna keep both of those because you never know when you might need some rain boots. I have these Steve Madden shoes that I actually really, really, really like, but I haven't worn them since senior year of high school in 2012 because I wore them so much, the heels like basically just came off. They just wore off and, and they're very slick now. Now, eight years later, I'll finally let them go. These I'm keeping. Same with these. These I'm keeping. And then I have two pairs of mules. I think they're called. Um, and I'm gonna keep these. I like to wear these to work um, when I don't wanna wear a tennis shoe. So these are gonna stay. And those right there are jazz shoes. I used to dance uh, and then I taught, but I'm keeping those because memories of dance and occasionally I need them again. Sometimes I help with recitals and things like that. So I'm gonna keep them for if I ever need them again or maybe I'll take an adult dance class. I don't know but because I did do that tap but that's just gonna they're just gonna stay so we did pretty good from this line here over is shoes to get rid of I still have these shoes which is quite a lot and I got rid of less than I thought I might but I'm pretty proud of the progress so far 
Well, guys, that is the first step of my major room clean out. I think we did pretty good. So now I'm going to put all the shoes hopefully just on this side. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me and going through my shoes with me. Please let me know in the comments below if it's normal that I have so many pairs of shoes. Also, if any of the shoes are in good condition, I will be putting those on my Poshmark. If you're interested, I will link that down below. I'm size nine if you're interested in that. And I'll be back soon to go through my clothing. So don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video about my organization skills. Okay. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.